to add a background image to behind the page, what you can do is if you click on this, click right here, it says regular page, that will select the whole page. And then you're just gonna come right here to background and click on background image. Also, if you wanted to change the background to page color, right now it's white, you could change that here. But to add a background image, we have to first decide, do we want this background image on every page or just one page? So if you only wanted it on one page, we would make sure that we turn this button off because this is gonna apply to all pages. If we did want it on all pages, which I will do here, I will leave that button on. I'll click background image and then media manager. And this will pull up our media manager where I can either select an image here or if I want to do a search, let's do a search for family. And this will pull up a bunch of different pictures. So I always like to use black and white photos because that way they um, don't take away from the text. But if you did want to use a color picture, you could. But what I would recommend is before you pick the picture is click edit. And this is going to load up the image editor and what we want to do is we need to resize this to the right size so if we come down here at the bottom click on resize you can see this is a really big image so if by default all projects are letter size so I just click on this word letter and it automatically resizes it and I click apply and then the other thing I like to do is come over here to filter and I will apply a tint, a gray film onto the cover. And that's pretty faded there, but that's actually pretty good. But you can also, you can change this transparency if you wanna let more color come through. But I kinda like it pretty faded. So after I apply that tint by putting the checkbox, I click save and it's automatically going to apply that background image to every page. So as you can see, every page has the same image. So if you have any other questions, please let me know.